Hey folks, Quilly Team here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Factorio on point one seven. Now the base is going to be a little bit different since the last episode for two reasons. One, I tend to do a little bit of work in between apps, but actually uh, last episode where we went and created our uh, golden science over here, a yellow science, um, the whole time, and actually maybe for even the episode before that, like our power was sort of like, eh, and I'm saying, okay, yeah, we're going to have to make sure to kick the power up a notch. Um, I guess I, I, I waited too long, I delayed too long, because what happens when you run low on power is everything runs a little slower, including your minds. Oh, I guess we can go and uh, pull you out of here. Including your minds, which means we're getting less and less and less and less coal, which meant that at some point we hit this critical mass where all of a sudden not enough coal was being delivered to power our, well, power over here. And um, then you get stuck in this horrible situation where with a big base like this, it's almost in possible to um, to kickstart the system again um, because uh, you can manually load in some coal to sort of get the mines going but again by the time they, they sort of fill up some stuff and get it over here um, it's bad anyway so I ended up reverting before the last episode make sure to build some extra power I actually went ahead and um, hooked up a second coal pickup site so now we have two trains that will be loaded with coal and spend a good amount of time waiting here you can see it's like not unloading very quickly because we're not demanding this much coal which is great so we have more power and we've got that although i will have to do some more power soon because our uh, production still isn't that high mostly because um so we have all these, but I've been putting in productivity models, in modules in a few places. Because right now our copper throughput is insufficient to power all this. I did go and buff our, our iron production a fair bit. So I've got all four of these, or sorry, all eight of these producing iron now going into an eight by eight balancer and have four lines of iron going out here for our circuitry work, which you can see right now, like the iron is full up. Um, but mostly because the big choke point now, the bottleneck is the copper coming in. Although I think if we did have all the copper, I think the, the, the iron would also be okay at this point. Um, we do actually produce enough copper that we could send more there. You can see we've got this, we got all four of these going here. And you can see like the copper here is not flowing that fast. Although, I mean, it's getting consumed quickly enough, I suppose, um, that even if we were sending more lines, which is mostly what I was talking about, we're going to talk about right here, even if we were to send more lines of copper out here, yeah, we would increase the green circuit production, but um probably we don't actually have just enough copper overall you bastards um let's just put in a little one of those that should cover that angle because you've got that and you've got that and that should be okay big old stone mine over there um okay so what i'd like to do in this episode so first of all um yeah let's talk about these productivity modules so productivity models i've got a bunch loaded into science our science labs which tends to be a really good spot to put them um as well as anywhere else that consumes a lot of very expensive material so for example um our yellow and blue science over here not all of the blues have been done um, but they have productivity models modules. So what's the deal with them? A productivity module can be inserted into assembler. It can't be inserted into the assembler one. It needs to be at least an assembler two, at least a blue one. Um, and the productivity module does consume more power, which is why, like, we gotta, you know, get make sure we get some more power production going on soon. Um, and actually reduces the speed at which things get made which sounds like a bad thing, but it increases productivity. So what happens is you produce the good slower, but every now and again, you get a freebie good, which means overall you use less material um, than you would uh, to get more stuff. So you get stuff a little bit slower, but occasionally you get a little bit of freebie, which is why it's good for something where materially it's very, very, very expensive. Um, you can put it in all your science labs, so it slightly slows down your science production, but every now and again, you get a little bit of free science and then some over here. And in a sense, what you want to do is sort of trickle it back, you know, as far as you can, as far as it makes sense, because that all effectively multiplies, right? If say I were to get free uh, low density bodies, um, so I get a little bit more of that and I get a free yellow science. So I get a little bit more of that and I get a free science from time to time, which can be a little bit of that, which means that all cascades to, I got a lot of extra science for free without using any materials, which is kind of lovely. Um, 
we we I think we were you know in a sense we were supposed to do purple first, but I'm actually really happy that it did yellow because we can get the requester chest down and uh, do some funky funky stuff in this episode. But we will have to get the other uh, purple stuff going on. So right now, anything that doesn't need any purple, so that includes some of the military tech. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do. Let's go ahead and get some more logistics and trash slots and things like that. I uh, have gotten a couple of uh, robot speed upgrades. I don't know if we can. Yeah, see, they're, they're going quite a bit faster now. It's actually kind of nice. Um, right, so um, I actually do have the means to get a fancy suit. I actually did a little thing where I put a little requester chest here and got a fancy suit. So we actually can wear our, this power armor now, which is much more armorific than what we were wearing before. Right now we had 40% acid. Um, actually, I don't know. See, those numbers are like 20-30 actually don't know how that rates um did i stop do not handcraft that thank you um anyway i'm gonna just equip the uh, the power armor over here so what's interesting about power armor is that um this doesn't need to exist anymore is that you can right click on it and open it and put in modules over here and the mall actually had module creation um underway so it's actually set up to do energy shield mark twos which is nice um how come you don't have a request for low density structures in here? Oh, I bet you the recipe changed. That's probably why. Uh, let's put in a little requester for some low energy or so low density structures. I guess it doesn't need much. Five per, but yeah, we'll put that request in there. So yeah, this is making energy shields and energy mark shields mark two. Uh, the, these batteries also need the low density. I think there's a lot more that needs low density than before. So what I did is I set up a little catch. First of all, on our bus, I make sure that all of our little bus things, we get like one stack sitting in each one of these um, provider chests so that we can use blue chests a little bit more freely. Um, it doesn't do as good volume as, you know, just actually like, you know, getting a proper mass production with belts and stuff, but it's really good for these one-offs. And then, yeah, right over here too, I have uh, one thing that captures some of these low density uh, structures into one provider chest over here. Again, maximum of one stack. So we're leeching a little bit off the science, but I actually did go and add, I think, three or four more of these on here because I had just enough room to fit it in. I mean, I could get actually more room in here if I was moving this, um, but I'm like, oh, that's not bad. We can leech a little bit of off this and that's going to be a-okay. Ooh, you can see the electricity uh, really going crazy here because look at these lasers using up the power and it mostly comes down to whether or not they're firing and when they fire, they use up a lot of juice. So yeah, we have to get a bit more. Um, so one of the things, uh, wow, that is going really quick. Let's do a little bit more of this. Um, so I've got this suit, but one of the things to run all these modules, we are going to need some power, right? Like personal shield sounds great. And yeah, I can go ahead and load that in there, but this is going to need electricity to run this. Um, that is one of the things we're going to use these batteries for, but batteries just store power. They don't produce it. So for producing power, there's really, as far as I know, two ways. You can either get portable solar panels or you can get a portable fusion reactor. Now, I it used to be this was effectively free power. I don't know if you have to load it with, um, with uranium in now that they've added uranium um i'm not sure wow the, okay these alien waves are also getting more and more and more brutal uh so we are gonna put down a few of those but honestly the the, the power situation right now our lasers aren't performing quite as good as they were so we're gonna have to do something about that anyway we need power this new bar that showed up here this one, i think is my shield energy uh which is which is nothing right now because my shields don't have any power um but we're going to do that. The other thing we'll be able to get real soon is personal robo ports, which is going to help with some of our construction that we're doing here. I'm going to make sure not to uh, die by standing in acid. We do have a little bit more protection than we used to. Our armor's gotten better. I'm going to come and assist down here. Oh, standing in acid. Okay, that's going to get rebuilt and be okay. But yeah, we're going to get some power production going and start setting up some giant solar panel arrays, which is going to be good. Although, do we want to just kill these bastards first? Because that is... Those are some pretty rough attacks. I feel like there's a base right outside our base. Or a nest, I should say, maybe. Right outside our base. And it feels like I should do something about that. I'm going to get some lasers here so I can far, fall back. Do that, which will aggro you. But then, yeah, you'll, you'll trigger over there, which is fine. Be distracted slightly. It's a little hard to spam out all the lasers around the, the big electric poles because 
of their range, but that should be okay. Um, let me get one of these two. We'll just go ahead and extend this out a scooch. Um, grab you. Oh, shoot. Let's say I'm not fully healed, so I gotta make sure that I don't take damage or it'll reset my healing timer. And then I go ahead and do that, so that's great. At least the acid that's sitting on the laser doesn't keep damaging it. Yeah, I want a personal Roboport, which is going to make this aspect of things a lot easier. But I think before we rush that, and before we get our power armor really swanky, um, I do need to get just general... Um, I don't know, maybe maybe the personal fusion. I don't know if it needs um, if it needs uranium these days. So we might lose these guys. Oh, we lost the power over here, which reset that. Let me get another one of those. Make sure we got a little bit of laser. Yeah, these guys have evolved a lot now. Everything takes so much more damage to kill. Okay. Um, let me just get a little bit more logistics coverage out here to fix and repair that. We'll clean it up later. But let's go back over here. All right, having cleared that nest is going to be good. So I guess, tell you what, let's take a, let's take a slight gamble here. That... Because I don't know, I could look it up on the wiki, but psh, psh, that um, maybe we can get a personal fusion generator working. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop down an assembly machine here, ask you to make a per personal fusion reactor. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a requester chest. Um, and oh, there's no logistics down here. here let's go and do this because, oops, we're going to want to extend the logistics a little bit more anyway. So that's going to be okay. We'll get some power going over there, a little bit over here. What we do is we control or shift right click on here and then shift left click to copy paste. It actually copies the um, the uh, amounts required. Now it copies the amount needed for X like amount of production. I think like 30 seconds of production or something. So I'm gonna just change this a little bit to not request so much and confuse the bots because in theory, we're only gonna need one load of these. Now we sort of have to babysit because this, this will store up to two of them in here. Although I guess that's not the end of the world because we may end up needing more power or something like that. So we'll get that going. Uh, 50 uh, low density structures will probably take a while to build. I'm actually thinking, I have a few things leaching low density structures right now. I think what I'm gonna do is I will go and uh, buff this up a little bit more because it turns out there's quite a bit of stuff and I'm sure that's a change from previous version. There's quite a lot of stuff that wants low density structures. Now, I think this belt here yeah, only carries low density. So we can actually develop on the other side of this and not cause any real problems. Um, let me go and just move this back a bit to give us some space. I'll put it there, drop the power there instead. Okay, so if I control C to copy, <laughs> um, and we're gonna grab from, I don't know, some amount. that like that and this actually has to go downwards and then yeah line up here Although, you know what, what if I just wrap it around? Yeah, let me let me change my mind on this. We are actually gonna go up after all. Probably we won't have enough input to feed all this, but that's okay. This is just super lazy. What we do is we're just gonna stretch it here and do that. That way we don't have to worry about routing things from the top very in a very complicated way. Um, and yes, it's entirely possible that we won't have enough input to supply all this. But as long as we have enough input for a fair bit of it, that's going to be okay. Um, yeah, this is actually not in a very good spot. Let me have to move you. Did that, oops, put that down. Did that leave any gaps? No, not really, actually. Yeah, we'll put a little ghost image over there. That's going to be fine. Move the power pole as well over there. And, oh, I guess 
you need this and that and that. That's a dumb place. Let's put it here instead. There we go. So we have a bunch more low density structures. Later on, we're going to have to do this in mass to do actual rocketry. Um, but for now, we're OK. Uh, character logistics slots, sure. And I'm going to change you to actually grab quite quickly. It's a little bit of risk that we might starve out our science, but I don't think that's the end of the world if that were to happen. Yeah, that's looking OK. Oh, you don't have power. Here, let's just whack on one of those and you'll be all right now okay any chance our super suit is ready to go i mean i guess we're wearing our super suit we just need to power our super suit oh this is definitely working here hold on let me cancel that there we go we're just gonna grab the one and stick it in here yeah it's fine so this is now producing power look at this and it's charging it up it's huge but it's really nice. So we can stack on many, many shields. Um, that wouldn't be so bad. Let's cancel that because we don't need this being produced anymore. More shields makes us quite sturdy. But the big thing we're gonna wanna do is get a RoboPort going. Um, it's very rude to, for you to be sitting here spitting at my stuff. Let's just laser beam you. Excellent. Uh, da, 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 da. So, right over here, this is making RoboPorts for us. Now, technically, we can make a tier 2 RoboPort. Um, and we may want to, because it have more space. We may as well, since we've waited this long to get everything going. Let's go ahead and do that. So, we're going to go put a requester chest in here. Copy. Grab. And this. So this needs um, five personal RoboPorts, which are being made here very slowly. Do you, wait, do you not grab red circuits? Again, I think some of the requirements for how some of these things get built have changed over time. And so that might be leading to some stuff over there. Uh, more logistics slots, yeah, let's do that. Um, what else? Okay, well, we're gonna want some batteries. Right, we'll grab a couple of these. I mean, the batteries, I think, are more important if you use um, solar power, but I think it might still be good here just to bank some more. I'm actually not sure if we need the batteries as much if we don't use solar power. Still, I'll grab a couple. That's going to be okay. Then we're going to want personal laser turrets and all kinds of different things. But mostly what we want right now is we do want a personal robot port underway. So you're waiting for low-density structures. You see, a lot of it needs it. What's being destroyed? Uh, it's fairly far from home. I guess it's taking a while to rebuild it. Let's just for now, let's make sure to get it some extra layers of defense over here. So mostly it's going to order a lot of weapons from way back home. At least our bots do move faster now. There you go. You're starting to assemble that. I'm only going to need one personal RoboPort, so I'm just going to stop that. So yeah, these one-off jobs, it is so nice to be able to do this stuff with requester chests. I don't like to, you can you can drive your whole base with a requester chest and things like that. I'm not terribly keen on doing that because it feels like, I don't know. It's actually shockingly efficient in weird ways, but yeah. Some things are still being smashed, is it? Oh, it's over here. Well, um, hmm. All right, we're definitely gonna have to do some more map clearing. Bit of this protect that this will be okay they're gonna they're gonna bash down some some things but at some point a big wave of construction bots will go and just land everything okay you're done so we're gonna disassemble this we're gonna right click and we're gonna load a personal robo port in here so now if we have construction bots and for some reason i got some logistic bots in here because i dismantle things um i don't remember how many bots this one can control 25. so we're going to put in a, some sort of request that so that we always have at least 25 construction bots um so let me do that boom excellent so now we can put down uh so we act as a robo port now so whenever we put down blueprints the robots will spam down around us and do that let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff which we picked up sort of randomly along the way. I could put up some um, some auto dumps. Oh, can I not? Oh, I guess control click it wants to load the weapon instead of um, just auto dumping. Also, you get a lot more inventory space with better, better armor. The other thing we need is we need power exoskeletons. Hello. 
so that we can walk faster. Where's my powered exoskeleton? Over here. Um, we're going to want, I mean, probably more than one because they do stack in a gorgeous way. All right, we'll come back. Um, let's put, we got little, little gates over here. We'll put a little gate over here. So what we're going to do is we are going to start to make an area over here to make power for us. Power related things. All the solar power stuff basically that we need, which means um, we need the, we need accumulators, we need the substations, and we need solar panel production. Um, a lot of what they use sort of overlaps. We could have done this a while ago, and we probably should have. So we're gonna start a little bit further back here. We're gonna leave lots of room. And so first thing we're gonna look at is actual solar panel production. Um, there, solar panels over here, copper plates, steel plates, easy peasy. Um, and we're gonna want, I don't know. The thing is like, in a sense, a trickle is fine, but how long did it take to make? They're 10 seconds each. Let's, well, it's, that's an odd number on this side. So we'll make, we'll go with the, the six over here. Actually, let me cancel that. Oh yeah, you can see your little bot. My little bot is eager to, to go to work. So we're gonna make, oops, a little more than one per second because we are gonna wanna make huge fields of it. There's gonna be a lot of the game where it sits idle and then I'm gonna request a, a big, huge field to be made and then all of a sudden they're gonna to have to go crazy. Well, I mean, we'll, we'll empty a box and then they're gonna to have to go crazy for a while to refill the boxes uh, for the next demand. Okay, so there's gonna be that. Um, so they're gonna need a couple of different inputs here and here. Now, if I go and look at substation, which is right over here, copper, steel, and advanced circuits. So we can sort of piggyback off each other. And again, actually, this really doesn't need mass production. We need some, but nowhere close to as many as this. I'll just, I'll trim it way back here. And we'll probably just do one side here. Maybe I'll, I'll actually, I'll leave four. That's gonna be okay. They do overlap, right? They need steel and copper and green steel and copper and red, which is fine. An actual steel, not iron. I remember this. Uh, copy, shrimp. There you go, see, personal RoboPort. You do have a personal radius around you. Now, the one thing with the personal RoboPort, I mean, unless things have changed, is if you've, you know, you've put up some stuff down, and it was either out of range or your personal bots were busy, then what it does is it'll get like your regular construction bots to go and do the job, which um, even if you move into range and or, you know, you don't have your bots busy anymore, because it's still, it's already been assigned to um, workers from the regular RoboPort, um, your personal ones won't go and do things. So sometimes it'll feel like you're just sitting around and you're like, why aren't those things happening? Well, it's like, that's why. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get on this one. Actually, I'll take a little jaunt to the side here to leave room for the other one as well. We're going to get steel on one and copper on the other. It actually reaches there, which is kind of nice. And we'll do sort of one of those and one of those. And then, oops, not there, but there and there. We have to get our uh, blue belt production going soon. There you go, you're gonna come in there. What's being smashed? Uh, well, these guns, first of all, could be cleaned up because they don't have ammo. We could do things now with a requester chest to like keep these guns full, but that'd be a little silly. Let's go ahead and add more laser turrets over there. All right, so you're coming in. And then what I wanna do is the same thing here with red and green circuits. And the accumulators will be a little different because they need batteries. I don't remember what else they need, but I know they need batteries because, you know, they accumulate power. That's, oops, kind of their thing. It's gonna annoy me that it's a little too long. Um, 
Actually, I guess it'd be easier if I do it the other way, isn't it? Like that, like that, and then immediately go to an underground and an underground. And then get the reds going this way. Boom, boom, boom. Buh. Oh, because I grabbed some at some point. All right, we'll just clean this up. That's fine. Okay. And yeah, they build slowly, so we can just do all this with yellow, save a little bit of material and a little bit of power. Jesus! Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> oh, thank goodness you don't like, uh, you, you've got this respawn mechanic now. Um, wow. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm on my logistics spots are being be like, oh, you don't have any things that you want. Let me go and dump a million things on you. Uh, I will ask to trash you and you, first of all, because we don't want to carry that stuff. Um, but, but while I'm actually, oh, I don't even have my blueprint on me. I mean, I could grab it from the book, but that's okay. Uh, let me just get rid of the blinking over here. I don't know what I want to research next. I just want to get focus on getting to the front. Whew. I mean, maybe we need more shields, but honestly, I was just so shocked at what the hell happened there. What we need is maybe some higher tier guns, personal defense things. I'm going to try to outrun a lot of these bots. Whee! They do go faster now, but on the belt, I can still um, outrun them. And wait until I get my exoskeleton going on here. That was terrifying. Uh, I died somewhere up here, right? There, there's my body. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and... Uh, actually, maybe not there. Well, I don't know. Do that. Cancel this one, actually. Uh, where the heck would they even come from? Oh, maybe this group down here. Although we have a big set of guns over here. I don't know. Anyway, a little something something. Um, where was I? Right, I guess that's that. Let's um, get you powered. And then... get you powered over here too all right well that's a that was a thing uh, I'll probably just do the wraparound over here so we're gonna bring this down to here we're gonna put down a requester we're gonna want I think we stack to 50 and like sometimes we're gonna have big projects so I'm actually gonna go and ask for a fairly large amount um, let's pop you down over here for now and yeah, we'll just um, wrap around here. Like that. Wait. Oops, I didn't actually do the pattern right, but oh well. We might have an extra power cable that I don't need. Do, do, do. All right, you're now making these. Good, excellent, wonderful. Um, do, 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 do. So you've got that. Now we need to do a similar thing over here. We're grabbing that, that. And then just going into a requester chest. This. Um, one stack is going to be plenty. This is okay on a yellow. Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure if that this one here need to be a blue or anything, but it's going to be okay. And yeah, we've got. Uh, yeah, we got we got just enough greens coming in. Mm, maybe a little shy, but I'm kind of okay with it. I guess now that that's doing that, 
it's being hammered a bit more, but that's okay. We're gonna extend out the logistics range to here, get you some power. Here, we'll do that. My bot will do it for me. Ah! Just to make sure that's covered. Okay. Um, and yeah, the last thing we need are accumulators. So we're gonna do this. And then we don't need tons. So accumulators, um, what's a substation? Is that it here? No, power switch. Oh yeah, it's searchable. There it is, accumulator. Like that. So you need iron plates and batteries. And we're, we may be leaving too much space, but usually too much is still not enough. So may as well space things out a little bit. Now that we've got cliff explosives, we're really, you know, a lot more flexible as to, uh, you know, how much room we can use for things, as long as we also go and bash nests from time to time. Batteries are way down here, yeah. Okay. And boom and boom. And we'll do the same thing. And one stack should be plenty. Oh, I guess you're full, which is fine. Oh, these build really fast. I didn't realize. I guess they, they build as fast as power poles. I think that's their thing. Okay. Well, it's funny, it doesn't preload the copper plates, but I guess that makes sense, yeah. It was almost looking like a glitch there for a second, but we're fine. So, yeah, you can see our, our production is almost at our limit as is, and then, yeah, when the guns start going, then it goes really crazy. Okay. So, for the next bit, we're going to need a blueprint. Uh, Factorio Blueprint Solar. Um, because uh, and there's going to be a bunch of them, but um, solar panels are kind of funky. Solar panels make power during the day, obviously only during the day. At night, they don't. But that's why you want accumulators. Accumulators are giant, you know, battery reserves for power. So there's an ideal ratio whereby um, you can build a, a collection of solar panels and accumulators such that um, you can expect a certain output, like. So the solar panels might generate, I don't know, 100 power while they're going. Um, but you sort of base it around f like 50 usage. It, like if you need 50 power, you build this, it produces 100, and if you use 50 of it up and the other 50 gets stored in batteries, and then at night when the solar panels aren't working, you slowly drain the 50 out of the batteries. That's not actually the ratio because I think it's a two third day night thing. and the power storage and efficiencies and different things like that and, and whatever. But there's math that people have figured out and there's like a bunch of pre-existing uh, handy dandy blueprints that are really nice um, to use. Um, so I don't know, I'm just gonna grab one. Uh, copy to clipboard, so I'm grabbing one from Factorio Prints because I don't wanna deal with this. We're gonna import into, the, into our book over here, so we've got it. Um, and yeah, what it was, where did it go? Right over here. I guess he's got three versions for this guy here. Um, this one has actual some guns built in, which is nice. And the question is, okay, it's got RoboPorts put in too, which is the, the thing I want to check. It also wants these green chests. Oh, a buffer for, buffer for construction that it puts down. That is interesting. I actually don't produce um, the buffer chests. I suppose I could. Tell you what, I'm gonna do it the lazy way. I'm, I I don't think we're gonna put it to, like use it very often. Um, so I'm just doing this so that mostly it's available for the blueprint. So I'm gonna take the super lazy thing. I'm gonna put a request in there. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that. So it's gonna request the parts for these chests. Wow. I guess they probably produce very quickly. Yeah, you don't need very many, but it requests 30 seconds worth of production. So actually, we just need to request the steel over there because um, we can just do this. There we go. So yeah, just load up. You only need one per, right? I mean, clearly. 
So I'll just ask for like, I don't know, five steel chests. That's all we care about over there. Yeah, it's still requesting the old ones, but that's okay. Done, done, done. And let's make sure to limit this to one stack. Even one stack is gonna be too much. But there, now it technically exists. Excellent. So what I'm gonna do for the first solar panel array, I think I'm gonna build it in here because you know, inside our base, fairly secure. You know, we've got we've got a ring of things kicking around. I think that's gonna be okay. So open up the blueprint. Hey, we'll use this one over here. So it's less solar, but it's defended. And yeah, I'll, I'll use the defended one as much as possible. Um, so this is gonna have to clear out some cliffs and things. I think that's it though. So I think this is gonna be fine. Oh, no. See, this, this is if I'm not holding shift, it won't build because there's things in the way. If you hold shift, it'll remove things, but you can see there's something in the way. Oh, it's that, that electrical panel or electrical um, connector. So let's just clear that out. Because, I mean, this is, oh man, you can mouse wheel through your blueprints. Nope, that's not what I want to do at all. All right, as far as I know, this is okay. So we're gonna go and paste that down. And so what you're seeing here is you're seeing a giant ring of accumulators, lots of accumulators, handful of guns. We don't really need the guns on this one, um, but it's nice. Then this way I don't have to worry about putting the solar panel somewhere that's innately defended. It's got RoboPort coverage. It's gonna be able to build itself on mass. It's just a glorious, glorious thing. Um, and the reason you want the substations um, over here is they have a they, they have a pretty long connection. So substation is just another basically a power cable. Uh, but they have a large area. You can see it's 18 by 18. It has um, it has twice the reach of a medium electric cable, but m even much more radius. So it doesn't have quite as much reach as the big electric poles, but the big electric poles have no supply area. So these have just a huge square that they affect. So this is going to complain about power shortage right now because these guys are trying to charge power from a grid that really doesn't have enough of it. And a bunch of these solar panels won't quite be connected yet until everything gets put down. But yeah, this is going to be good. So this array here is going to generate a constant 37 megawatts, presumably day and night, which is great. Because 37 megawatts is quite a bit for us right now. Look at this, like we're producing about 150. So that's a pretty big addition. It's like, what, 20% more power in our grid. Um, this is going to be nowhere near what we need in the long run. But now that we're at the point where we can spamable this, and we could have done this a while ago, but, you know, sort of fun to stay on coal for a while. We're going to do this. One of the things we'll probably do is... Um, uh, I think actually the, the coal, what'll happen, you only burn coal in the boilers when you need power. So if we have a lot of solar, the coal will actually sort of stop being used. It'll sit there as a nice reserve, but then we'll be able to rely on that uh, whenever. So we'll let this one get built. This will sort of, this should solve our power problems. And once this is built, I mean, we'll have to let the, um, the solar panel production sort of catch up again here. Do, do, do because it probably didn't have enough stored up because it's making it's making just over one per second. And this blueprint here needs how many of them? 624 for one blueprint. So, I mean, we might want to scale this up. I don't know. Um, well, oh, green circuits. Um, well, first of all, oh, we can't ghost over that. Well, First of all, we want to make sure we're feeding from both, but that is not the issue. Um, yeah, we're just hurting on our green circuit production. Actually, down to a trickle. Copper? Oh, we must have been waiting for a load of copper to be to be delivered. Oh, yeah, yeah, we are not we're not getting copper quickly enough. Now, this is probably, now that we've got more power, um, I have, I think, production of electric furnaces. Um, one way I can check is if we go and find any sort of thing that's on the logistics network. Or right over here, we can mouse over that. And yeah, I can't tell. Uh, what's the thing that we have 153 of? Yeah, we have 153 electric furnaces. Why do we have 153 of them? 
It seems like more. I don't know where it's being produced, but clearly we do produce electric furnaces, which is good. Now that we've got more power generation, we can start to use electric smelters. Um, yeah, since butt faces are still coming over here, let's go and reinforce this site. But yeah, the solar power production is going to be a little slower than we might like. Now, hopefully... As long as the substations get 20, yeah, these are they're all connected to the grid. As long as the substations are there, then the, what solar panels we have will at least be functional, which is going to help. Oh yeah, there's our accumulator charge. This is how much we've got saved up. And so the fact that this is charging up is a really, really, really good sign. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do a whole like copper smelting array thing, but it's, it's a good sign anyway. Um, but yeah, we need, uh, we need that because what I need to do is I'm, I'm going to make well, almost certainly a train station for it. Actually, maybe what we'll do is we'll do it near this copper because we're picking up copper over here for now, which is fine. And I'll probably let this, oh, this isn't placed right for these. There we go. Um, oh, did I finish my exoskeleton? Probably. It's way up here, right? Yeah. Give me my legs. Um, I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. I'll probably leave the existing copper production in here just for now. Um, well, there's no reason to move it. And then at some point we'll set it up. But I'll leave this train delivering over here for now. That's going to be okay. I'll build a mass copper smelter over here, which is going to be great for feeding in for our circuits here. Um, and let the circuit scale up quite a bit more because we can get like four, maybe eight lines of copper running here just to be able to do more. We can plan on extending the green circuit production out this way as well. So yeah, I'm going to make the copper production sort of like fairly far over to the left. We can just feed it with some of this for now with the expectation that this is going to turn into a train station that accepts copper later on. I think that's kind of sort of going to be the plan. Um, yeah, and we're going to have to do a lot of bug hunting, but do you have my magic legs? Oh, you do. Excellent. Let's uh, put a stop on that for a second. Let's open you. Oh, yeah, they're huge. I forgot about that. We get a bigger bigger one of these later, don't we? I feel like we do. I guess there's no way to have... And we must because I know we can get more than one exoskeleton in our suit. I suppose if I wasn't using the portable fusion reactor, that might do it. Well, I guess for now, I'll just go and dump you, 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 keep the coal. Uh, random logistics bot. I keep picking these up. Maybe as things get destroyed or I may, I'm misclicking or something. So I'm going to put you in the auto trash. Uh, let's make sure we have a stack of you. Um, I don't think we need the, the fluid wagon, so we can probably dump that. Keep the stack of this. Don't need the storage chests. Iron is good. Um, I guess for now I can just say, hey, make sure I've got the locomotives coming in. But yeah, now we do move a little faster now that we've got the exoskeleton going on. Um, and I figure since I've got nothing else, I don't even know if I need batteries. Let me grab a bunch of these uh, energy shields here. Um, whoops, shit, hang on. Re-equip the power armor. Right, right click on you. I really feel like we can fit more in, but I must be, I don't know, I must be dreaming of something else. Oh my, you did not have a stack limit. Oh, but you have a you have a smart behavior here of 10. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'll put you there as a backup. That's going to be all right. I have tons of these productivity modules. I've got a copy of this book in my inventory, which I don't want. Okay, well, we'll put a cut in here. Um, and we're going to get some things prepped for massive scale up of, of power, well, yeah, we probably will make more solar panels later, but clearly right now the shortage is that and also steel? Am I not leaching enough? Am I really just burning through the steel that quickly? I mean, we don't have the world's hugest steel production. So far, it's been like insane how little we've needed, but clearly we're burning through a lot more of this now. I guess some of our science actually uses the steel. So that might be, that's that's a big part of it. Okay, so it's finally time for us to increase that, although that's trivially easy because we do have a lot. In fact, what we can do is like, 
literally well i guess i'm gonna have to make some space you know what i do have um uh, there we go landfill yeah we can we can ask our bots to do this let's we're gonna fill in this lake it's existed for too long not allowed to be a lake anymore so we're gonna fill that in um i'll increase our steel production and yeah we'll be ready to go with our um our electric furnaces as well for the next step they will ask for like 100 on me for now uh to help with that folks thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time Bye bye